I try to I try to explain this to people um, with ways that's not religious as far as the Bible, right? The scriptures, not even a the whole Bible, but like the Torah, the laws of God. I try to explain to people why this book is way more important <clears throat> than anything that got to do with uh, Egypt, uh, the Quran, Hinduism, especially where we live at in America, because this is what most of our people don't know, um, that the Bible is actually public law 97 and just on a ignorant ear that just sound like oh yeah that's nothing but what that means is that the united states of america the government constitutional they recognize the bible as the word of god you know they do swear on it in a court of law right and a separation of church and state so that scripture has power but they recognize it as that now the bible has laws and constitutions in it that apply to the people right um this is what most people don't know. And I get so, not tired, but like beating a dead horse when I say that the Bible is what the Constitution was written off of. Based on um, nobody having any rights over anybody else because God is the sovereign being that created everything. And by terms of him creating me and creating you, we're sovereign. So... The Bible is the law of the land. Let me let me explain it to you like this. Um, um, I keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. <clears throat> Some people might call it Judaism. Some people might say is a Hebrew Israelite. <clears throat> it's not either one of those. It's keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Torah. I'm a Torah keeper. Or if you had to box me in, uh, a Karite. That's somebody that adheres to the written the written scriptures right <clears throat> and our holy day a convocation is on saturday so if i'm working a job and um i go to the scriptures the bible i have to have that day off cut and dry there's nothing that they can do about it well there's nothing that they're supposed to be able to do about it because that is the law now what happens to us we get caught up in the policy and the policy is this might makes right so no matter how many times you're right when you're trying to stand up to the powers that be, if you don't have force or something behind you to back you to make them cash in on that, it's no good. And that's what we face now. They don't deal with law here, right? Because the Bible establishes law. There's so many things that the Bible establishes that they're out of line with. And it's constitutionally lining up with the scriptures, right? Freedom of speech. I can say pretty much what I want as long as I don't harm a person. I should be able to eat and take in my body whatever I want as long as I'm not harming, harming another person. But they'll give you a policy and say, hey, we don't want you taking drugs because it's bad for you. That has nothing to do with me. Like, if it's bad for me, you that's my business. You understand I'm sovereign, but they give you a policy and enslave you with that. If we went in that Bible and used it in a court of law, you would win. You definitely would win. But they wouldn't let you win right out the gate because... They're not lawful people. And even to know that and know what I'm saying to you is 100% true, why would you get in the way of people trying to be free? You understand? So even even following the word of Jesus in the Bible is not is not enough. This is how you know that that's made up too because the word of God will set you free. Um, for instance, in the Bible, and um, I can't remember, maybe Deuteronomy 19, is giving you laws, civil laws. Like, if if you want to accuse me of something, you have to have two or more people to accuse me. You can't just say, I did it, and that's it. So look how this plays into law. The police, he works for the state. He'll pull you over and say, he caught you speeding. By law, he can't even witness because it's a conflict of interest. He works for the state, and the state is the one that's prosecuting you. You understand, like, Things like this happen all the time. And by law, you can't tell me how fast I can move. You can't tell me how long I can be someplace. As long as if I'm not moving fast, I don't run into somebody and damage them. Now I crossed the line. I, I stepped on that person's sovereignty. All the law is for is to protect your sovereignty. It's not to protect a so-called uh, 
policy, like drug policy. I can't use drugs because if I use drugs, I'm going to hurt somebody other than myself, of course. Now, I might, but you have law enforcement officers in case that happens. You don't take a law that cut people's hands off because they might punch somebody. You understand what that is? But they have the might to make it right. They're not right. The scriptures tell you otherwise, and the Bible is the law of the land. See, I tested them on that with driving, not having a driver's license. I'm quite sure y'all seen the videos, and you've seen that I won. But they made it they made it nasty for me. They sent me to jail and trumped up some other charges. They used the policy on me. They didn't use the law. And I'm not big enough by myself <clears throat> to fight these people. This is why we start to need to, well, we need to look into autonomy, which is having our own government, because we're basically a nation, an exiled nation, and we're sitting under another nation. They're sitting on top of us. They're not the same as us. We have our own culture, our own ways, such as these scriptures. That's what I abide by. I don't celebrate Christmas, Easter, birthdays, none of these things. And as far as uh, getting shots or needles for our skin, no, that's called sorcery with in the scriptures that's what we deem as sorcery but our society says like your kids have to have these drugs pharmacon pharmaceuticals put in them which is poisonous remedy in our culture so you're forcing your ways on top of us well you can't because my book tells you that you can't do that so you can't subjugate me to anything because this is my culture what i live by it's like being a muslim you don't get this as as a people this is why Islam is, is, is feared by America or white people because they're spiritual to the point of they can't be controlled unto death. They really believe, no matter what you think or how twisted it might seem to you, they believe in enough to, you call it suicide. When they fly in airplanes in the building, that's not suicide. They're killing the enemies. They're just willing to die for it. It's like me running down the street into a crowd of police dumping on them. That's at least the least that I can do for my cause and not being subjugated to what you devils are trying to do. See, when this picks up with other people, the climate will change. You know, like the Palestinians over there in Israel, they understand this. They outgun, but their will is, is different. This will happen. They're not going to go away. This, this won't resolve itself. It'll keep on because you can't dominate a people with their spirit or when their souls is in the right place, whether they are right about it or not, they're convicted, you know, and they have law that they follow in uniformity. That makes them a nation. That that gives them that power that the Israelis can't overtake them. It might look like that they're losing, but they're not because they're not being overtaken. People are dying, but they're not being overtaken. You understand? Unto death, and you can never rule of people that's ready to die for it and they keep their laws they hold it all the time they can't be ruled if we learn that you know and the laws are there there's plenty of laws we got laws for uh charity it's a part of the law statutes and commandments and out the rip is telling you have no other gods before our god right Man, whatever culture you in, your God is your God. So inside of this, that's not a lot to ask for. Because if you if you down with nut and gab, they, they your boys, right? So all right, cool. But we have a codified law in these scriptures that's honored by the United States of America. So ain't no freedom on those walls of Egypt. You get laws, statutes, and commandments that coincide with the Constitution. And it's like God. You got to evoke God. Free will, right? Free will. You have a choice to choose evil. If it was all good, then you would know God was forcing your hand. But the reason that you know God has given you free will is because evil is an option. Y'all need to understand that. Law and, and unlawfulness are options. Once you learn the law, it's freedom in that. Get into those scriptures and see what rights you have. Because the Bible is public law 97280. That's the law of the land. So learn the law of God and you learn how to free yourself.